you guys were out rebounded and you gave a lot of points in the paint. Is there anything that you could take heading into game two to prevent that? Yeah, I mean, you know, we got to do a little bit better job. We had our chances to win. I, you know, you're just not going to come in and just blow these guys away. So things have to go right and uh, a couple of lapses uh, boxing out. But uh, overall, I thought we played well enough to win and just didn't get it done. Kareth Burke, NBC Sports Bay Area. Mike, if I'm reading your lips correctly as you walked off the court, oh, let me just say you looked angry, you sir. You didn't want to do that. You looked angry, you sir. You didn't want to do that. Can you give us your perspective of the last 20 seconds of this game? Well, last 20 seconds, I, you know, I was, I've already lost my mind before that, so I, I don't have a clue what happened the last 20 seconds. You know, just, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I, I thought we, we played hard as we could play, and, and things just didn't go our way, and we, we did a good job last 20 seconds just coming up with a steal, having a chance at a tie on a three-point that James, you know, could have got hit good and not. Who knows? I mean, I know, but anyway, whatever. But we're right there. We had our chances to win. We missed a couple foul shots, had a couple technicals that, that cost us at the end because we were only down three or whatever. So, you know, we have to, I have to do a better job, and we'll do better. But uh, we had our chance, and Tuesday, hopefully, we have another chance. Tim McMahon, ESPN. Mike, clearly you felt that uh, James in particular and, and, and Chris on at least one occasion <laughs> were getting fouled when they're closing out on three. What what was the response you were getting when you were discussing that with the refs? Well, I'm going to really try to be a nice guy, you know, because I really don't want to give the charity to them. I'd rather have my charity and have the money. So, um, I mean, the response was they just came at halftime and said they missed it. That's what they told me. So. They missed four of them. That's 12 foul shots. So, so be it. I mean, they're trying to do the best they can do. And, uh, you know, obviously it was, it was what it was. The T's obviously were costly. You think the rest yeah, were being real a little too sensitive or do you guys need to sort of Yeah, we just back? need to just suck it up and don't worry about how they officiate and sit there and take it. Yeah. I'm getting, you know, a little old for that, but that's just how it goes. You know, it's. I mean, I, you know, I try not to curse or I try not to uh, completely be a, a jerk. But obviously, it didn't work. Um, so, I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's beyond me. Uh, Brian Bearfield, KYK Sports. Coach, um, what, what can you do better in the next game to stop Kevin Durant? He, had a, he wasn't uh, effective the first half, but he really got going in the second half. Well, if you you know you need to email me and tell me because I don't think anybody ever knows that. And he's just shooting it over top. He's one of the greatest players I've heard. And I thought we did a great job, especially until PJ got a little bit of foul trouble, and then uh, things happened. But uh, and then Kevin happens. I mean, the guy's good. We held him to 104 points. That's good enough with two technicals and and a lot of different things. So uh, that. That side of it, we could have done better in the first half. We had some communication problems, and we'll learn as we go forward and, and tighten up our defense. Uh, but uh, offensively, we've just got to do a little bit better job. Mike, uh, Dan Wecky with the Los Angeles Times. Two questions. Um, first, why did you go to Nene there uh, well, late? Well, you know, he was playing great. He was guarding great. Rebounding was could have been an issue. And, you know, I, now, looking back, I probably wouldn't have made that decision knowing what happened. But I had confidence that um, even if we switch out, he could get it done. And, you know, Steph makes a great shot. So, you know, give them credit. Secondly, um, what did they do against Capella? It, it seemed like that, that kind of the James to Capella lob got well, really good. disconnected yeah. early. Yeah, well, Dray Draymond's good about faking that and going back. Uh, you know, I don't think Clint played a normal game. I thought he was lacking a little bit of energy. Uh, but that happens. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll fix some things and we'll be better. Coach, you're not going to have to go on the injury reserve after uh, Chris ran it to you, are you? Maybe that was, you know. <laughs> no, he got me pretty good, though. But, uh, you know, I'm just sitting over there, so it doesn't matter if he got me or not, as long as he's okay. Any other questions? Yeah, right here. Mike, Art Spander of the Maven, you had them playing your style of basketball once that you got out of the first quarter. So you had to be pleased with that. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And that's what we're going to do. Now, you know, Durant made some hard shots, good shots. And Steph makes a big shot, obviously. Uh, you know, like I said, defensively, I thought we did a good job. We just, we held them to what we needed to do. We had to be a little bit sharper offensively. 
Um, you know, uncharacteristically, uncharacteristically, we missed some foul shots that we could have had. Gave them, you know, like I said, two technicals, which we can on a on their home floor. You can't. It's hard to make up. And we could have easily gone to the line another 20 times during the game. So we're okay. I mean, we're okay.